Hey guys, welcome back. My name is B Dub, and we are on the Corruption series today. First off, it is a little early in the morning. It's two thirty, but uh, what I wanted to do is kind of get get going and try and get some a little bit of experience today for two reasons. Um, well, for the main reason, one, uh, we've got our points in here now, which is good, but I do want an extra point in here so we can make a bicycle. Uh, the un unfortunate thing is we cannot make the workbench yet. We have not found a claw hammer. So the claw hammer I have got locked behind this. So if we can't find one, then I have to make one. And to make one, I need a perk in this. So one point in this. So not much, but one point in this would be good. And it unlocks all iron tools like pickaxes and hammers. So I need two points today. Well, at least by, I'd say, let's say by mm, Horde Night. Reason, to be honest, I would like it by the morning, but that's not going to happen. So at the moment, I've just got some uh, iron crafting in here. Um, just crafting out as much as I can. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it won't eat up all my iron. But so for the reason uh, of needing that experience, we're going to go across the road to this POI over here. We'll do that one, and then we'll come and do this one here afterwards. Go see if this has a working uh, working tools or working stiff tools box in it. Get my words out correct. Uh, the reason why I'm not hitting that now is because if it has working stuff, more than likely it's going to be a little harder than just a regular house. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up there and uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll see if we've got just a little bit of food. Got a little bit of food somewhere here. Where's our food? Um. Uh, I could make some. What can I make for meat? Meat, boiled meat. I can make boiled meat. I'll take that. You know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, take some meat. Take this. Put some wood in here. Uh, boiled meat. Can I not make this? Oh, I haven't got these in here. All right. Um, where are we? One of these, one of these. Put these in here. Bang, bang. There we go. Boiled meat. Uh, how many can we make? Make six. You know what? We'll make six. Let's do it. I have a quick munch back on one of those before we leave. Uh, this one here. And um, it won't do a lot, but it does help a little bit. Wait 10 seconds here. Alright, we'll just have a quick munch back on that. We'll just leave off that, off that note there. Also, what I did do is, you can see, this kind of goes all the way up to quite a high height. About the same height as this here. Now what I'm going to do is probably going to make some form of base off this point. So I was thinking about using this as a base, but I feel like it's just going to get ruined and I'd rather just demolish that anyway if it's going to get ruined and start again. So what I was thinking is making a base here, kind of facing it out this way, staying at this height, not really sure exactly. I might do one of my kind of usual builds I guess for this, maybe the one that I was going to do in the um, uh, in the beginning series um, to kind of show you what I what I kind of do for my bases. Um, either that or I was going to put it over here. Now this is a good building because it's got a good solid structure around it but it's more than what I need. So sometimes building kind of like your minimalist kind of thing uh, is better because you're not wasting as many blocks. You know if I want to upgrade that I'm going to have to upgrade all of these ones around the outside. So I haven't really decided if I want to go here or here yet. But if I do go here, this is kind of my height. I just wanted to kind of like scope it out and work out kind of what I wanted. Anyway, it's already four o'clock. I wanted to get an early start, but that hasn't kind of really happened. Uh, you know what? What I'll do is I'll go over this one over here instead first, since it is four o'clock, and we'll come back and do that one if we've got a bit more time. So for now, that's kind of my entrance and exit. And uh, we'll meet you over at this building over here. Well, that wasn't a very far walk, but that's okay. Uh, We'll just crack into it. I think you start at the back here anyway. So we'll just bowl our way through. Um, get all the goodies. Uh, crank through this. Oh, hello. There's someone on the outside. Is it just a solo guy? Just a solo, so that's not too bad. Hey, man. There's a Pete's Pub over there. Uh, Popping pills, a Shamway. I'm not too sure. We're going to be surprised in this one. 
I can't remember what this one is, so we will just do that. Anyway, we'll just go through it and crank it out. We do need the experience um, and the loot anyway, so it's not going to be like we're losing anything by doing this. Smash through all these. Rusty barrels have not a lot in them, by the look of things. Is that the... Oh, stepped up on there accidentally. Okay, who have we got in here? Anyone in here? Hello. We've got two of them. Smack you around a little bit. Oh, she just likes to run right around. Would have thought she tried jumping up there, but that's okay. Maybe it's got a block that only she can see. Maybe this is a weird block. I don't know. You want in here? Hello? Hello? No. Alright, what food do we got? Just got some drink. Okay. Pistol, ammo, and some acid, which is not that bad. Acid is handy for when we want to make the wheels. Uh, some pipe. That's okay for fixing me blundy bus. Oh, there's a little bag o in there. Nothing. Oh, there's a way through in there. What do we got? It's just like a oh, it's a gun store with a a man o in here, a man and a woman just hiding away in between the aisles. You never know what they're doing. All right, there we go. Get, knock them both out. All right, there's not a lot of stash here, but let's hope for something decent. Uh, not decent enough for me. Uh, is that a full rack? That's one full rack. Second rack. Uh, a bit disappointing. At day, what are we at? Day six, and we do not have any decent weapons. So I am a little worried about that. I may have to go buy an AK today. Or what, what do we have? Do we have an AK in the shop? I can't remember. Something like, oh, hello. I did not expect you to come out there. Oh, don't fall down. All right, there we go. Is this one too? Oh, it is. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Okay. That's fine by me. Nothing here. Okay, cool. Thought I was going to get lunged at by half a dozen zombies, so. Alright, we'll quickly loot this. And. Alright, anything in the garbage? No, we've got a little bit of food, but nothing decent for food. Oh, hello. Sounds like a couple of zombies. Woke them up. Alright, hello. Okay, we got three. Three of the ladies. Three of the ladies. Two ladies and a man, should I say? Alright. Alright, let's knock him out. Oh, he's gone. Your head's gone. Oh, you swung at me. You can sit down, please. Here we go. Oh, nice, nice. Gun range. It is a gun range. Luckily, I didn't get shotgun through there. Alright. Clean up some of this these bodies. Someone is uh I don't know if they've been yeah, it looks like they're being attacked by zombies. I was gonna say I don't know if they're being shot or attacked by zombies, but I mean this is pretty obvious. Guns don't really do that unless they're huge guns and they blow parts off. So that's alright, no one here. Uh lockers, anything decent? A little bit of padded armor. Oh, there's a wolf outside. Um Well that's lovely. This season has just been uh, exciting in the wolf department. I don't think I've ever come across that many wolves in a small amount of area. You know, yeah, traveling and like long term, you do see, you know, the same amount of wolves, but in what, four days, five days, I've seen three big boys. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of scary though. Um, it could just be the difficulty. I don't know if that's what they do for the difficulty as well. They, you know, pump it up or something. Oh, okay. That's this one. Oh, I could have come this way. Would have been a little bit safer. Uh, scrap that. I'm going to scrap the skirt. I'm going to throw away that because I don't really make that. We'll drink, eat that. Throw these away. Scrap this. I'm just trying to get a little bit more room in my... in my bar. In my area. Uh, anything in the garbage? No. In the trash, in the rubbish, in whatever you want to call it. Nothing here. I heard something just over there. What did I hear? That looks obvious. Very obvious. 
uh, arrow. Alright, let's... Oh, ho, ho. straight in the face. Straight in the face, lady. A little sneaky ammo pile behind there. No. Alright. Alright, hear the wolf. Alright, so it's hitting on the outside. That's okay. I'm fine with that because at least I know where they are. And I know he's on the lower level and on the upper level, and I have to come up here via a ladder. Which means it should be a little safer for me. Not saying it's going to be too safe, but it is a little safer. As well as it being in a elevator shaft. But I don't want to speak too soon, because we all know what happens. Uh, sometimes zombies have a different pathing and they can get up to me somehow. Alright, we'll let him dig away there. It sounds like he's just going to chill there and do that anyway. Oh, we've got a nice a lot of... Oh, this this water is good. It's a good stuff too, you know. Sticks the uh, a pop. Oh, what do we get there? We've got a book. Magnum Enforcer. Uh, you can craft HP .44 Magnum ammo. He sounds here. Where is he digging through? I'll let him keep hitting that for just now, but there's definitely he's definitely getting closer and he's up at a higher level somehow. Like I said, they've got some weird pathing sometimes and Yeah, I don't want him to uh bust through and absolutely ruin my face so let me quickly loot all this escape a uh make an escape escape plan should i say a little bit of food no food oh there's my level and i'm extremely slow so i need to work on this stuff i don't i'm not gonna use that i really want to keep that because it will help longer term can't scrap that yet but i will now, where is he? He's definitely still... There he is, he broke a block. Where is it? I'm kind of worried now. Well, we will just go outside and carry on. Go around here, that was broken on the inside. I will just break it anyway. There we go. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. Uh, up here. Got some more working men. We do. Only a couple of them. Alright. Let's stop them from coming up too close. And let's get rid of you too, sir. Please leave me alone. Oh, minced you. Minced you up. Alright. Alright, anything in this? Nope, I can wrench that later on. Okay, so that's good to know. You can get some iron and stuff from that. Oh, we've got a big boy. My gun's loaded? No. This is more of an emergency. I'm going to try to take him out with the... Um, with a club first. And then we'll go from there. Alright. Oh, 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 you almost got me, buddy. But you didn't. Too bad, so sad. Alright. Let's pick up the rest of these. Ba, 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 ba. Scrap those. And where was it? Uh, what was I looking for? This, the pot. We know we got at least three pots at home, so we should be good there. Oh, what have we got? Some cutie booties. Uh, but I, I can't scrap that yet, so we'll just take it. A little computer, a little gaming setup. It's my gaming. Bong. Nice. Bong is the, I guess, the top, top thing in this, uh, in this world. Oh, there he is here. Okay, sir. I'm gonna better hit him, but I'm not gonna better hit him 
super well. We'll just take our time. There's no rush here. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's like falling in frame. Okay, it looks like it was just a baby one. So before I drop down, let's just check. Uh, here we go. Let's just check this play. Is this better than what I got? No, it's not. Uh, it can sell for right money, so we will... I, mean, I should go back and wrench that, but I just don't want to carry so much crap around, you know? Um, I can scrap that now. Probably shouldn't be scrapping it, but selling it instead. Um, you know what? I'm not worried about it. We'll worry about that later. Alright, zombie spawn. Hello. That's alright. Oh, I don't mind with zombie spawning. At least it's not a wolf. Right, another one in here. The Lois. Hello, Lois. Oh, got you. And I'm gonna knife this and hopefully go to get all his goodies. Alright. I'm not full yet, so that's a bonus. Um what else we got in here? We've got bloody bar. I noticed this the other day. This is a person's face. If you can see there, you got like the face here. You got like the intestines or brain here, same with here. And then you got like an arm that's kind of like here. I didn't realize it was a face until uh I actually was, I used to play this on lower graphics, and uh, you never saw that, and then now I can't unsee it every time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, kind of kind of funny. Um, there are some things under here, but I cannot be bothered breaking through all this. Not with the... Uh, it's wood, actually. No, it's not wood. That's wood. Okay, yeah, it's stone. I'm not going to go do that. It's going to take too long otherwise. So it's all in there. What I'm gonna do? Oh, here's this is where the wolf came in. All right, I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm just gonna make a little storage container at the back since I can. May as well. May as well just get it done with uh, storage. Oh, I'll just put that there. Just here. Because uh, this is not gonna matter. It's not gonna get reset or anything. So I'm gonna be okay with that. Uh, I'm going to repair these and then stick them back in. Take my ammo and take my arrows. And then let's oh, I'll repair my bow because I might need to use that at some stage too. Alright, apart from that, here's my little purse I saw earlier on. I'm actually glad for that wolf to come in. He kind of made me a little path, you know. In here, it would have taken me a little bit to get out there and I'm pretty happy about that. So where was he digging? Oh, is it like double thick? Twice as thick. Alright. We've got three workers here. Any of them running? This guy runs. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Calm here. Calm me, fam. We'll just blow him up here. Close that again. It's a little cheap doing it this way, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I mean, they put these in the game. If they didn't want me to play with the doors, then uh, don't put a door there, you know? All right. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll quickly clear this room, and then I'll see you once I have done. If there's any decent loot, I will show you as I go. But uh kind of gives me a bit of experience from digging all this stuff, too. All right. So it looks like I've cleared most of this out. There's one up there, but I'm going to get that when I go up. So let's uh, parkour our way up here. Because uh, I need to use this one to kind of work my way up to here. And then we can carry on. Carry on. I'm not going to sing the rest of that song because I will get copyright struck and it's not going to happen. Alright. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. A little bit of goodies there. Um, Alright, let's kind of slow our stamina down. While I was digging away, I... I lost all my stam. Uh, sorry, lost all my food. So now I've got bad stam regen. All right. So this looks like the end of the POI, and I'm kind of scared. So make sure everything's reloaded. I'm gonna sneak up here. It allows me to sneak. All right, there's one there. I hit her cleanly. 
Oh, I hit her. Flies. Oh, no, she's running at me. I misclicked that one. I'm just going to stand here. Oh. So I'm just going to stand here and take that, but, um, it's kind of bad for me to do that. All right. Uh, let's turn my torch off because it makes a big difference. Uh, it goes from 100 to 35. So, big mama right here in the face. Oh, right in her nose hole. Oh, that would have hurt. I'm going to try. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, these zombies hit hard, man. Down to 50% health. Well, not 50%. 50 health. It is less than 50% health right now. What have we got? We've got a... We've got a Hawaiian man. He's not too bad, but I think I'm just going to shotgun him here. Because I don't want to lose any more of my health. There we go. Okay. Quickly check this roof. Get my arrows back. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Uh, anything up in here? You never know. Probably not, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, I'll quickly wrench these. There we go. If I need these, I'll come back and wrench them, but for now, I won't bother. Okay, nothing here. Shotgun Messiah. So it wasn't a... It wasn't a working stiff, which is unfortunate. Uh, but... The working stiff tools uh, would be great if we could find one in my town. I don't know if I even have one, though, to be honest. All right, so is this... Okay, this is above the office. All right, let's just run around here. Run, run, run. All right, here's the loot. Uh, so we've got two shotgun size, a chest, and um, a shamway. A little bit of loose ammo. All right, first bin. Second bin. Third bin. I say bin, but they're a box. Same, same. Alright, uh, nothing in that one apart from a little bit of ammo. Some repair kits, that's good. Uh, disappointing Shamway box, as usual. And it's locked. Oh, that's pain in the butt. I'll scrap those, scrap those, and scrap this. Because uh, that's... Uh, I do 15 damage, and it's got 7,000. Oh, that is a pain. That is a pain. The shotgun here for now. I'm going to wrench this while I'm here. And then we'll go... I know there were a few lockpicks in there. I'll see how many there are and whether it's worth me coming up for that. If not, I think I'll mark this on the map as test. And we'll come back for that. And then we'll uh, see how that goes. Um, I'll wrench this and I'll meet you downstairs. All right, we are back at the chest. I only have four. Now, I just don't feel like four is going to be enough to break into there. I'm not going to bother risking it either. So I think for now, I will... I'm not going to use these two, let's be honest. Not forged steel. i actually not going to use that yet either. I would rather some of this stuff. Um, I can scrap this. I'm going to scrap that as well. I'll leave that here. We can come back for that stuff later anyway. My house is quite literally half a block away. So what we'll do is... I'm going to do that empty jar. We will come back for this later. Um, I'll go see what other... Um, what do you call it? A lock picks I have at home. And then we will uh, check that. Maybe we'll hit this one. We'll hit this one all at the same time. Now, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll head home. And um, we'll make some empty out there and make some decisions there. So we'll see you when I get there. Alright, guys, we are back at the base. Uh, quickly empty out here. Let's get rid of all my goodies. Um, chuck some clothes in there. Uh, chuck whatever food I have in here. Well, I can't fit any more in there. Do I have a spare one somewhere? I do, so maybe I'll make this the healing one, and uh, this is the food one. So I need to take one of these to shorten the time on this, and it also helped get my, my health up a little bit. Uh, so we'll take out this stuff. Um, a class that is that as well. I'll take these, this, 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 and this. Probably some more stuff in here, but we'll just quickly 
slap it in here, slap that in there, pop the healing one to up here. We're going to have to expand here very shortly, I'd say. So, once we get to that point, though, I will make sure I show you that. Uh, ammo and guns and stuff here. All right. So, those I already have set off, which I can sell shortly as well. Okay. So, how many lockpicks did I have? Where are we? I also need a new wrench. We're just going to tag in one of these. Uh... All these are worse than this one, but it doesn't have much health. We'll just put on the biggest health, and it is what it is. Um, where are my lockpicks? Oh, here, eight. Eight may do it. You know what? I'll go back and give it a go. That's a roaming horde. I need the XP. I need the XP. Let's just do it. Let's just get up and out of here, though, so I don't ruin myself. Um... I just bonk you over the head. Was that gonna, it's gonna take too long to do? Anyone behind me? No. You decide to run at me. No. Go away. Oh, hello, Lois. Sneaking up behind. You little sneaky devil. Oh. Oh, you almost got me. You almost got me. Ah. They're almost gonna get me here. Alright, we've got one down. There's another couple behind me. I can hear them. Where are they? Oh, yeah. It's a nurse. I get rid of, uh, I don't know what you call her, purple lady, get rid of the nurse, come on, we have a chance here, on her own, yeah, she's gone, big mama will take a little bit, smack her around a little bit, it's good XP, that's just gotta think about that, it takes a little bit of time to do, but it's good XP, come on, come on, here we go, yeah, get knocked over, all right. Is that everyone? I'll take one or two more, but only one or two more. All right, guys, let's go back over there and see what we can get. All right, guys, we are back up here. Let's give it a go. I got the rest of our other stuff from that chest, so we don't have to worry too much about that. All right, wish me luck. Let's see what we get. All right, guys. We got it in the end, and I mean, for the, for the triple pocket mod, I'll take it. A little bit of ammo. I would not say it's the best, but the triple pocket mod kind of makes up for the uh, for it. So we got a single here. We got okay. We got a, a double spot here, so we'll get rid of this and stick this one in here. All right, that frees up uh, frees up three more, so that's not too bad there. Come on, let me down. All right, we'll come out this way. All right, and jump down the front. I do want to quickly check the front of this place. I don't think there was much loot here, but I do want to just check in and put a marker out the front. Some free wood. That's all I see when I see chairs now. It's just, hey, free wood. Uh, where are they? Free wood. How much do you get for two chairs? Yeah, that's six, but free is free. So can't complain too much. All right, so nothing else left here. I don't think I'll do this one today. Uh, we've got all the garbage there. And uh, we'll head back to home. We'll unloot. Um, and then we'll make a decision on what we want to do. We need a bit of food. So we might be doing something like that. Anyway, I'll see you when you get down there. All right, we are back in our base. Back in our base. All right, uh, chuck these two in here. Chuck the ammo in here with this and this. Uh, that was a mod, so I'll put that in there. Chuck that in there, and chuck that in there. Where is the food? Right, we'll put seeds in here. Let's bugger it. All right, so how much do we make? We've got 53 here. So how many points? One point, but I'm almost at the neck. Yes, I'll hold on to the point for now. Uh, so how much do I need for a claw hammer anyway? So claw hammer. If I was going to make it, it's going to cost 12 iron. So 12 iron plus workbench iron. So 12 and 25 is 37. So we've got plenty of iron. And we have plenty of wrenches. We can, we know that. <laughs> uh, the claw hammer. So maybe we'll see what we get from there. So I'm going to quickly take this. We're going to go to the trader. 
I'm going to risk going to this trader. I think I'm going to go up here, hand that quest in, get my loot, because there is a chance that he may give me a core hammer, as well as sell anything that I don't need. So try and make as much money as I can um, out of all these guys. I mean, I don't really need some of this stuff, but the money is good, you know? So uh, these glasses for the one item, 110 is pretty good. All right. I think we'll leave that at that. This, you know, selling that, that's that's worth a lot. Any guns here? Uh, if I repair those, they're going to be worth a bit too. These are worth nothing. And these are actually worth quite a bit of money. Stuff that I'm not going to use. Shotgun parts I will. Robotic probably won't. Uh, how much does it take for robotic? Robotic. For one sledge, four parts. Okay, we're, we're going to keep that for now, and I'll explain that shortly. Machine gun parts will sell as well. And we'll quickly repair these because we're going to need to get on the road like ASAP. Uh, I need food. Oh, food. Um, oh, I ran out of uh, fuel. Uh, a minute. Dude, yeah, okay. I've worked out all the time. Alright, so there's not going to be enough food. We're just going to have to dump into our storage of what I didn't want to eat into. But it is going to be what it is. I could take this, but it's also a little bit of a waste of time there. And we will take a copy as well, because I'm going to need to need to uh, keep my stamina up a bit. All right, guys, I will head up to this trader, and I will see you when I get there. Here we go. Two skill points to spend. Just as we got to the trader. Managed to uh, cut open a deer. So we got a few uh, bits of meat and uh, bone and stuff. So that was nice. And uh, killed him and popped up to uh, the next level, which was really nice. Money in here, are you? Um, no, I mean, this is real money, this stuff here. Casino tokens. I mean, it's what we use here at the moment. All right, so I'm going to go Molotov Cocktails because, you know, why not? Uh, let's check for another quest. Uh, Southeast 900, so that's in my town. South 225 is in my town also. Because it's the closest survivor site. It's not in my town, but it's right there. Okay, it's in between. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, first off, let's just sell them everything. We'll just start from here. We'll sell them everything. Uh, steel club I will not end up doing. Uh, let's sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell, 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 sell. Get rid of all the stuff I don't need. Molotovs, they don't sell for anything anyway. Alright, $10,000. That is not bad. I did say that I wouldn't have mind buying something at the other trader. Okay, he's got a pistol and a hunting rifle. I don't really want that. More brass. I want the book, but I don't want that one. I want food. I want food. Can you give me food? Well, I mean, he can give me food, but that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see what other weapons he has. So, oh, he has not got a good amount. Is it worth you running back to the other trader? I'm just going to buy these because I really want to get them in my body. They're a bit expensive, but... Unfortunately, uh, sometimes you got to do stupid things like that. Anyway, my pocket mod. Tempting. Not worth getting yet. Uh, and he's going to reset. Am I going to make it back to the other trader in time? Am I going to make it back to the other trader? It's a huge distance. Um, the other option is I run around this town and see what we have here and then go home. And then hope, because it resets on day 7 and it's day 6. So my options are run around this town, see what we have. Whether there's a uh, working sift tools or something like that, that might help us. Um, or I run down here to the trader. Either way, I'm not too sure if I'm going to make it here. If I do make it... Yeah, sweet. I can't take that. Uh... We'll kill this guy first. Hello, guy. Oh, one shot to the face. All right. 
You know what? Let's run around. Let's just make that call. Uh, what I'll do is I'll have a scoot around this town, uh, see what I can find, anything interesting I'll show you. Uh, otherwise, I'll I'll kind of uh, show you what happens as we go. So uh, here's a little running around the town montage. Alright guys, we are back at the house, and as you can see it is night time right now, so zombies are running at full pace. Full pace, but that is okay. I'm fine with that. We will be nice and safe in our house. So I didn't find too much around the town, kind of, I'll show you the, the path I kind of took. So I kind of just went up around like this, and as I was running around I kind of looked into this middle area here. I didn't see a lot. I didn't see any working stiffs or anything like that, but I did see uh, there is a big shotgun inside here, which is very nice. And I think there was another one somewhere in here. I didn't actually get to see it properly. Now, there's a few other little buildings in here. I think there's a police station and stuff like that. So that was kind of interesting to see that. I might have to go run through that and see what that's like. Also, there is, when I was just coming down here, you can see the path that goes up here. So all the main main lines to these uh you know, cities have all got big pathways. So, you know, this is the one. The only way to another town from this one is basically here. Follows oh, it around to my town. And then I have a big mess of scribble here. And then there's one that kind of comes up through and probably goes over here. So I'm going to say there's a town here somewhere. I don't know how far up here it is, but I'm just going to guess that it's roughly around there. Anyway, so this one goes up here to this town. And this one here ends in this town, right? There's also one, when I walked over this way, there's actually another town right here. So once we have a bike and stuff, we'll actually be able to get over here very easily. Now that might mean there's a trader there, it might not mean there's a trader, but if we've got three traders like this within like a small triangle, that's going to be very good for getting these quests done, as well as like buying and selling stuff. So, anyway, enough of the jibber-jabber. What I did find, I did go to a few uh, work... Uh, destroyed workbenches and stuff to see if they were working. I got me a nice upgrade for my axe, so I cannot be mad at that. That is a very good upgrade. Uh, so we'll slap that together and chuck that on the bar and say goodbye to that for now. Uh, found a little bit of concrete as well. Not a big deal. Um, found, yeah, a few bits here and there. Nothing of uh, value. But what we will do now that we are back I'll put the smelter on for just a little, little bit here. I don't want to go for too long. Uh, we'll grab this. First off, we have the two points. Almost got another point here, to be honest. Uh, selling all those things and then a few kills when I was walking around the town, it kind of pushed me up almost, uh, what would that be? Like almost two-thirds? Two-thirds? Three-fifths of a level, which is pretty good. Uh, so what I was going to do, we'll put one into here. Tall nipper. One into here bicycle and uh let's get crafting on uh making us a workbench so hammer so claw hammer now is unlocked leather and duct tape how much duct tape do i have 17 that's always enough all right so claw hammer inventory build there we go and now workbench what do we need for the workbench we need claw hammer wrench mechanical parts and forged iron so 
Uh, mechanical parts, that's an easy one. Forged iron, that's good. Uh, what I do want to do quickly here is just see which one of the worst wrench is. So probably this one. If you hover, if there's any negatives off this, then there we go. That is the worst wrench. For safety, I know that they have changed it. So if it's in your bar, they'll pick the one out of inventory. But I just don't want to trust it. So I'll put it there. And now we're just waiting for this to uh, speed up and we can make the workbench. So we'll wait for that. And just like that, we have made our first hammer. I don't like doing this, but you know, we do need to get a workbench so we can kind of get stuff crafting, including a bike and transport and a plethora of other things. Uh, so Forge Lion, we've got everything here. So if we smash that, there we go. 33 sec, uh, 33, uh, what do you call it? Three minutes and 33 seconds to make a workbench. Just messing up my words today. It's kind of uh, ridiculous. And what I will do is I'm actually going to smash on some more forged iron here. Look, at 38. That's not a bad effort. This is all my iron, which I do need to actually... We'll take out a little bit. I don't want to use all of it, and I can explain that later on. Uh, but what I do want to do is... Put this back on. For at least three minutes so i can forge the rest of this uh so the forged iron actually went up the cost of it went up to 18 from 12. not sure how that happens but i guess as you go up the level because i was level technically zero or whatever i could make them at level one if i found a tool schematic for the uh claw hammer I could have made them i could have made a level one so as it went up to level two it actually went up by uh six uh iron so i didn't realize that when i just made that so i was a little short but i was going to make another one basically the reason why i want to do that uh there we go i'll just put one here put that away uh the reason why i want to do that <clears throat> it's for horde knight so having a claw hammer to repair rather than a stone axe really makes a big deal um you can really repair stuff a lot faster because it does about like when you're building right so let's say i want to upgrade a block here uh so this block here is going to be uh three hits for this one two and then three it builds it with the claw hammer it's only two and so the the speed of like repairing stuff while zombies are destroying it it makes a huge difference and you really can kind of like overpower it by doing that so that is why i want to make sure i have enough of it so what we have got is one, two, three, uh, leather, one, two, three, oh, that's four. My mouse clicked one too many times. And nine wood, which is obviously not much at all. So we will put this, we'll put this just down here. So we know where it is. You watch, I'll forget it, but we'll know where that is. And so that means if we make anything else in the future, we will not mess that up. And uh, hopefully, we'll be good there so we've got a minute left here and uh, time is one o'clock okay so that is fine we'll just chill out here until this crafts and just like that guys we have made our first workbench definitely not our last workbench but our first one so that's always nice um for now where do i want to put it you know what slapping it right there is great you know why? It's just, it's going to be great right there. Uh, we'll put a candle over here too, so we can kind of... Candles are pretty useless, aren't they? Barely see anything there. You know what? Do I have another torch somewhere? Uh, I wanted to use that because it was a freebie. Uh, I need cloth, and I need... Uh, where is it? Some of this, so I can make a torch. We'll make two... I normally like saving this. I really like the animal fat to, uh, that crafts into uh, stuff like the blueberry pie, the gumbo stew, the meat stew, uh, pumpkin cheesecake. All that stuff is super good and super handy. So that's why it's very rare. It's not rare, but if, if you're not killing animals every five seconds, then you don't actually gain a lot of it. So I tend to buy a lot of it, um, which you know might not be smart for the money, but I feel like it's necessary sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Slap that one there. Slap one over here. So that's going to lit up our 
area a bit, bit nicer now. I'm going to throw away this candle. Where is the candle? It's still over here. There we go. It's not very bright, so I won't bother with it. Because uh, it also, what happens is when you have torches and stuff like that, you get a, uh, something called like a heat map or a heat, uh, a heat source from it. And the more you have, the bigger your heat source is. And so what that means is zombies are attracted to heat. And you start getting screamer zombies. And that doesn't uh, get too enjoyable because screamer zombies will call more zombies. And then you'll have a, a horde floating around your base in about two seconds. So that is why we do not want to have more up than we need. Um, anyway, so we worry about that for in the next episode anyway. So, plans for next episode. We need a base. So, first things first, uh, we'll go to the trader. We'll see what guns we can get. We can get something decent from here. Sweet. If not, we'll go up to this one, maybe do the quest on the way, and then we'll be back. We'll do that nice and early, uh, just to make sure that we kind of get in, see what he has, buy what we need, and then get back, and then we'll just focus on building the horde base from the time... Uh, you know, from whatever time we get back to basically Horde Night. Uh, and if we have to, we have got a backup to go over to this or even over into these buildings here that we have already looted. I can get rid of this chest one now. Uh, one of these three here that, we could, that we've looted and yeah, we can kind of uh, hide and be scared out of one of those for a, a night if we had to. Anyway, I'm just kind of fussy with uh, the way I build things. I like to like have it there a hundred percent i don't like to go into it like half ass so anyway guys i think we're going to call it there uh thanks for thanks for watching uh remember to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one catch you later guys